representative from the home of the ladies comes from Tebino, Timo, Jami, Ario, and Jim Chibo. When you come and do two brief things, Mobeo, May, uh, to your question. That is introducing the family members. Karachikede, May, Jimiwa, Yumateke. And also to point us the, the members of the clan. Kemiwa, Kuato. And giving us the life story of the deceased. It will be, it will be okay to know where we are to check. With that, we shall have a brief song. Anamaru Yesuni no Nuchu. Aname.
is the mother who has taken care of us till we have grown up to date. Then I'm a mad. Ni rukchi ni tek. Why been can? Ni me wa. I'm requesting the mother to come and give us the life history of Dennis. Boy, uno kabino. Let's go.
Why medical facility? In the hospital, diabetes was realized. When diabetes was realized, he was put on a treatment. He was swallowing the medicine, but all that he couldn't work out. He was put on injection. Take me outside 
I get some tips from the sun. Then she took him in the house. Then he used to take tea. That very day, when she gave him the tea, he took only half of the cup. When she took him inside the house, she asked him, should I give you some food? She said, he said, no, give him some time. That when I saw that, what happened to Dennis? When pressure was going up, coming down, that was what was going up, coming down. Coming down. She took a concert. But still, I said, if our day of Friday comes, I have to take him back for treatment again. But that night of Wednesday, going to Thursday at 1 a.m., Dennis was in critical condition. She woke her, he woke her up. That man came and she went. Yes. 
Gede dulu, ada tapian, ada tip tipo. Tapian kan banyak di mana, kau bukan di mana. Because when you would ask him, who is this? When you would respond, coming to our level in the body. They say looks for something and give this. He was given tea and he took it. At around 3 p.m. also they told her to look for some food and he eats. Then they asked him what should I do for you? Then because they told her to bring things which are a bit of soup. Most of soup. Digger, digger. Then he said to me, take a That is the response. What he did is what she should go and buy. Then she went and bought roasted chicken. I bought the roasted chicken with the hope that he's going to eat. When she brought, they just told her, I have no, I have no strength to put it into my mouth. She felt him. Respect. I mean, she felt him. There is a, there is a jam lecture. No matter. There is a just more than three times. And said, please, is enough for now. Go and look for me the juice. She went and got juice of pineapple. I don't juice any She kept on feeding him. And he was okay. He was talking with your local there. Hmm. And then he said, "Don't you dare." Then she realized that he was okay. Reading at night. At around eight to nine. Then he said, "All my knees." Straight my legs. Tell me on the left. Tell me the side. Then she asked him, Dennis, where exactly? And Dennis replied, All my body parts are now bleeding. Sometimes in the hospital, doctors can be there. At times, She she could stay with these other sisters. Coming to around eleven forty, there. I tried to sleep a bit. The driver just, the driver just tried to touch her a bit, and she realized that he was calling her. She woke up and said, "That again, turn me this side again." Also, I turned him. She again went back to sleeping again. This called her. Again, turn me this side. Thirdly, then I woke up on my own. I will be thinking that my this question of mine, I will buy, I will give him something. In the final time, many things already happened. Then he stole her, then he just said. I said, no, I can't even leave you now, then he just leave this bed up. She raised me the bed up. I asked her, I asked him, she let me do a tea and he never replied. Just showed her a sign. I didn't eat very fast and he took tea only three times, there was a lot of energy. First time when I gave him the tea, the tea just fell from the bottle. I saw the mouth wasn't closing anymore, but it was still pretty. When I called a health worker, I said my patient is not doing well. 
I asked her that are you tested for the sugar level? I said no. Then the doctor told her just take him for a pressure checkup. When she checked on the sugar level, also it wasn't bad. For all that they have done, the body still had glucose. But the pressure was low, that is 26 over 12. When they finished, they just stood there thinking what to do. Again, they started breathing slowly, slowly, slowly because it was their chest. Dennis, tell me your wife, God. Dennis, close their eyes. Dennis, no problem, no care. Dennis never talked again. And that is how his life departed. At midday, at midnight, that's when the time his life departed. I want to thank all of you. Then you stayed in your midst. She used to love Dennis a lot. And she took care of him. If only God could allow, he would have spared Dennis. But he saw it is good. Dennis had pain. You saw it, you saw him among yourselves. Only your body cannot carry four years sicknesses. He was a fighter. He used to love church. He used to love church. She could go to the church in Africa just there and came back at her own. There is a Bible. There is a Bible. There is a Bible. Even whatever is going to find a Bible, we will forget. At times we will forget and walk with the Lord. At times we will forget and walk with the Lord. Well, last time they went to the church, they went to the hospital, they found the Bible, they said, okay. I'm here to tell you, Dennis has gone to another life. In your capacity, I want to thank family now. My family, the very children, boys, all girls, all the black fish, all the mostly Samu and Okeloke. They have done wonders to their brother. But they have done wonders to their brother. They are so busy. Money has to go. A lot of money. Going there like two times is not easy. Sometimes you could even lack money. But these people could swell and say, Maybe you wait, and from there she knows you are looking for money. I want to thank them before you. What they have done for their brother Davis. Briefly, I'm saying mourners. Of my fellow Christians. Davis is still here temporarily. Let us escort him. We love him. We go, we escort him up to where they have been prepared for him. That's what I can say. May the living God bless you all. Amen. 
She has seen Dr. Lena and the daughter. These are the people with her in the hospital. Thank you for coming, see your son. Thank you for coming, Alice. Amen. And everybody, I will sing. Thank you for coming. Right. Now I need to come to the mouth. Mara Baya will protect you. Thank you for being strong, Baby. Baya will go away. Thank you for taking care of us. We are still alive. We are taking care of you as well. Now, there is no ticket to more than that. There is our friends who are rugby players. Friends, you are one of them who are rugby. To the winner, go ahead. Friends, for there is rugby players, where are you? Okay, quiet. Thank you. Bending, bending, Danny. Sit down. Quiet, Jack. Thank you. Um, I want to thank also our dear friends for starting with us. We are seeing our friends to Samsung, friends to Des. Thanks for coming so much. Thank you for starting with the home. Thank you for starting with the home. For this time, he's calling the clan, the leader, whether the Jago or there is there. Okay, I'll take it in Pashu. We don't worry about you, but Pashu will not show. They are at home in the guy, calling out some preparations. We're doing what I want, I want to talk. What do you expect? Well, let me be the man of my business. Yes, of course. I thought I would talk.
ago. Something happened two years ago. Nagatili. Up to date. Ni nakia lopo kumu ni upa angkuriwa. We have never said God has punished us. And we know what? That's why. And why? He has given us and he has taken. A real brother now and only Dr. Ebu. He lost a brother called Dr. Ebu. Nera Dennis. Uncle to Dennis. The same year a real brother now and only Owey. My man would be called. The same year also he lost a brother called Owey. Just near here. You may give a poor dirty man. Afterwards, many things happened. He also lost the call called Dr. Lele. The wife is there. We still say, without God. We still say, God will love you. Power the Lord. Amen. There is the only one. Today, Dennis has given us a chance to speak in the church. I also want to thank God for that. Through Dennis. I'm requesting that pastors. He is a Catholic. Pray for us. Even through this church of victory. You are very young. We shall be grateful for you, pastors. These children whom you see, they were introduced. Since I am here, me. They were taken care of by the sister. I'm not judging others where they were born from. Because you are thinking that is where the father was buried. The home is far. We are waiting for visitors to go up there. Therefore, pastors, there is work. People you see moving in the in town, they are children of God. But they are ignorant. They don't have to what they are doing. Pastors, there is a lot of work to do. There is no one there, I'm a pastor, I'm a company, keep busy. But then you know, a chair, a man for a company, I'm busy. And the one very busy, which you are in the Wawa. But we are never busy in our shops. Let us sacrifice. We sacrifice like all the pastors sacrifice. The time has come to remove the name I'm busy. I will not talk much. We love these children. I'm apologizing. That at least I've got the service. He was also in the same uh, activity in the church. He is also one of the heroes in that, in that place where the lost was the lost someone also. The other one is an hero. This one is from the sister. But they are all children of God. They are all God's children. We all love them as Rakoshwara. Lastly, Ken, Ken, where are you? Sam. Sam, where are you? Onyango. Onyango. You are a dude. All this victory, victory, church and chulogi uberu me biru bolke kachi anti bolke. Bearing this church is only when there's a problem. Jala me kinu jala ni wana me kinu jala biru. The sacrifice that they have made for the church is safe to you because. Pera wana mo, amela mo. The brother always now gets. Mumi okay. First priority, we have to put the priority.
to the servants of God. This kind of casket we have to buy for especially the women of God. Even when water is needed, it should be bought for the for the people of the servants of God when they die. These three people that have called them we shall not be very far from this church. This is the next. The love you have put upon us. The love you have put upon my sister. We were baby willy. We shall not forget anymore. Shamba Gitiman. This is not the last pastors and the and and don't get tired with the house. We shall always give a country. We shall always send more to come. For the good things you have done. For the love you have shown upon us. God bless you. Those that you will see, I know both of them, but few I don't know. Yeah, young. I'm grateful. Catholic man, Catholic. Catholic Catholic member, you are hard, sir. We th I thank you for escorting me. Because they are always with us together. Oh, yes, yes. Amen. Boy, well, she won't be able to talk. Thank you so much. We clap for the talk. Now, I'm up here. I'm up here. Chicken and Jail, I want to take the church. There's one thing that we shall do for the church. Before you be Dennis. For the memory of Dennis. One of the world fans. We shall bring the fans that are been from the world. You know, we are against days. That we shall always have fresh hair in memory of days. Then may I make him marry. Then lastly, acquire you cutting on our body. I'm requesting in case there is a drone. As family, I request you forgive him. Why? Thank you. Why am I taking some? Some guys appreciate you. Go some some. Thank you so much. Why am I taking? As a child, we appreciate that. Young Kadisha, or a woman, sir. As I get ready to welcome the pastor of this church to come and introduce the servants of God. Hello, yeah, we will look at our brother Kadisha. Different ministries and churches. So, like these people to just sing this chorus that says it's well with my soul. As we get comfort from that song. It is well with it, with the dance. I'd like us just to sing that song. Thank you. Welcome, pray.
podcast. Luar kan di hati kita kan? Yeah, that is true. To build the servants of God who are here. Then we do. We will be able to take care of the people. Let me start with myself. Wah, Jack, can you be the end? I'm called Reverend Sira Okello. Yeah, Reverend Sira Okello. One of the pastors of Victoria Red Ministry. Aku akan ajar dia untuk buat apa dia buat di sini. This is where I am pastor from. Mana tu kan nama anda lagi? I have a wife. I'm married. Anak aku dalam bojo. Jadi dia nak out. That's my wife to stand up. Kuala Lumpur dia yang baru. That is my wife Joseph Okello. Dah baru dia tu yang Joseph dia tu Okello. Ah, here we work as a team. Kalau kalau dia buat kalau yo. Ah, we have a team of pastors. Jadi dia tu. Let me take this time to introduce them also. We have the youth pastor, Dickens Otin. Dickens Otin. Married to Marion. Down there, yeah, Marion. I don't know whether Marion is here. Marion, where is she? I think she's not here. That one is not here. Then we have Wilbert Odu, Pastor Wilbert Odu. Dickens Otin, what? Wilbert Odu. Married by Nesta. Nesta, you here? Dah ambil ni, Enesta. Enesta dia lau. Enesta also is not here. Then over here. And then let me request all the Christians of this church to rise up so that the mothers can see. Wah, wah, yo cemerlang. All those who used to pray with Dennis, just stand up. Ya, yo pun ada Dennis, kan? And just wait for the mothers. Ya, ni pasti mesin robot. So these are members of Victoria Red Ministry at Nukuro. We love you so much. Oh, my God. Let us introduce the other pastors of Victoria Red Ministry who are here. We have Reverend Sabah Muja who is leading us here. We have Reverend Sabah Muja who is leading us here. We have Reverend Sabah Muja who is leading us here. We have Reverend Alfred Oluo. We have Reverend Peter Achara. 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 These are one of the founder members of Victoria Ministry. Let me request any other pastor from Victoria Red Ministry who is here to stand up. Let me request any other pastor from Victoria Red Ministry who is here to stand up. Let me request any other pastor from Victoria Red Ministry who is here to stand up. Let me request any other pastor from Victoria Red Ministry who is here to stand up. Let me request any other pastor from Victoria Red Ministry who is here to stand up. So much welcome. Oh, yes, you are take. Praise God. Amen. Let me now take this time to introduce other servants of God who are from other ministries. Oh, yeah, I think we shall have a good one. I want to begin with the Reverend from where uh, Mommy Grace prays from. Well, I can't imagine the Reverend and I'm in Grace. Let me request the microphone to be handed over to him just to say a word. I have no doubts about this. 
Because the son who loves God is pure. He don't even trust God in him for him, he knows God. And even though he was in him, he just like, there's also trust for God in him. God has picked him because the one who gave him. We should keep washing, so washing the Lord. Without judging, without doubt, because in his heart we are going to come to stay for good. We have come to stay in one word once and we shall go back to him. Praise the Lord. We have come to stay for good. 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 Thank you for coming. Thank you, Sister. I'm seeing Christians from St. Augustine. Thank you, Sister. 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 Thank Yes, sir, with the other pastors. May I show you up? 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 Is the chaplain of Uluge? And may I show you up? St. Philip's and I, for your meal. She prays for St. Philip's and I. And 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 she prays for St. Philip's and I. Praise from all things about the world. Look at the Thomas Odon. I'm a willing man when you pop up. I can't. Thomas is for you. Don't Thomas. I feel here. Pastorly. I can't see the woman. Think of the Irish. You will love. I'm a willing man. 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 I'm Bible says, those who die in the Lord, they are alive in the Lord. So, can we not try to make talk the Lord now? Who are we okay? Let us try it and die with the Lord, so we can live with Him. We will be in the middle of the world. We will. Let us not be taken up by the things of the world. We will live in a hanaka. We shall not call it for good. Ah, we will go. Thank you so much, Reverend. Let me take also this time to to see the Catholics who are here. The Catholics who are here. We are the church of the Benedictine Order. You told me, I'm a Christian. Don't forget that. Thank you so much, your most honourable. Boy, what time? Boy, what time? Ah, let me see the Benedictine Order. Who are here? We are the church of the Benedictine Order. What time? What time? Your most honourable. Your most honourable. Thank you so much, your most honourable. Boy, what time? Your most honourable. Your most honourable. The Muslims who are here. What you love, they are the Christian. We love all of you. One on one, we push you. Just wait to us. We want to see where you are. The Muslims who are here. What you love? Can I see you? I think they haven't yet come. Yesterday we had some of them uh, at home there. Now we put more people here. Who are we going to get the passion for? If there's any denomination which I have not introduced, please stand up. Stand up. You want to put your hand up? Just stand up so that we can see. Yeah, Malu, I'm ready. You can have a phone call. I think there's none. I don't need pity. I'm not going to stop. I think I've done my part. Let me answer that one. You can now take back your phone. Better than me. Now back to one more, Rasira. I'm back. Let me answer that. The world won't let go. The way I'm Malu. Now we. The world won't let go. We're the end. Maybe get up. And we worship the Lord with one song. Me come and go. And we will come to one of God. Quiet. Quiet. Hallelujah. Amen. I know the words. Amen. When we go to the bank, we are chill. Me come and hear the man of God. He is very good. Me go on. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
For coming to this great celebration. I call it a great celebration. Because we are sending off a person who gave his life to Christ. A true child of God. Praise God. Praise God, child. I like to thank the Lord so much for the life of Dennis. The Bible says the Lord has plans for each and every one. In the book of Psalms 139 and verse 16. Psalms 139 verse 16. He says, you saw me before I was born. And my days have been recorded in your books. Before when any of them began. Praise God, church. That is what the Bible is telling us. That you saw me before I was born. God saw Dennis before he was born. Before he was formed in her mother's womb. And the days allotted to him had already been shadowed. Before even any of them began. Praise God. So God knows each and every one of us. And he knew that today Dennis will be here. He knew that today Dennis will be talking to most of us. Let's give a big mighty hand clap to them. Then too, I would like to thank the church. Victor Alvin Church, you are a great team. Victor Alvin Church, we are very good team. I would like to thank the praise and the the worship team of this church. The women department of this church. And the entire church. For standing with Dennis during the time that he needed us most. We were there for him. Many times we visited the home of Mommy Grace. We prayed with her. We prayed with Dennis. We shared the word of God with them. And so I like to thank you so much. And may God bless you. Don't get tired. Continue to do it. God is going to reward you. Praise God. And to Mommy Grace. I like to give you a special thanks. You are a great mother. There are very few mothers like you. Thank you so much for being a great mother. You did what most mothers could not do. May God bless you. May God give you more years to be mothers to many. I believe because of the love that you had for Dennis that Dennis was able to live for all this love. Despite the pain that he was going through, despite the several sicknesses and the diseases that were on him, but the love that you showed Dennis enabled him to live even more love. May God bless you. God bless you abundantly. And to the brothers and the sisters and all the relatives, thank you so much for being there for them. You are always there for them. Thank you so much. 
to thank you for your sacrifice. And the source that you sacrifice to make sure that David is continuing to live. May God bless you. And to the entire fraternity of QFM. Church, I would like to thank the management of Radio Q. It is hard to differentiate between Q and the family of the director. I am always here. And each and every time I would see a cohort moving to pick Dennis, take him to the hospital, bring him back home. Almost, the mother said two times a week. May God bless the management of KFM. May continue with that spirit. Somebody who gives you job is like your father, is like your mother. And what you have done, the family shows that you appreciate what the director has done for you. And to all of us who are here this afternoon, to come and say bye bye to Dennis. May the Lord bless each and every one of you. Praise God, Church. The Bible tells us that we are visitors in this world. Praise God. That we are visitors in this world. And when the time comes for us to go back to where we belong, we have no option but to go. I have no option but to go. Praise God. Yesterday, Reverend Alfred read for us from Ecclesiastes 8, 8, 8. Which I want to read again to you. That when the time for death comes, you cannot escape it. You cannot escape it. Let me read it to you. No one can keep from dying. Or put off the day of death. Church, you cannot put off the day of death. Irrespective of the quality of services that the doctors are offering, when that day comes, we have to go. We cannot shift our way out. Praise God, Church. And so this should tell you that we are visitors in this world. Another term that the Bible uses is that we are strangers and refugees. In the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 11, in the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 and verse 11, Peter The portion I want here is, is the first part. That we are strangers. We are refugees. Praise God. Tell your neighbor you are just a stranger. Passion. 
which are always at war against us. The Bible again also continues to tell us, still emphasizing on us being visitors here on earth. First Chronicles chapter 29 and verse 15. You know, O oh Lord, that we pass through life like exile and strangers. As our ancestors did, our days are like a passing shadow. And we cannot escape death. Praise God, child. Praise God, child. All this is emphasizing, is telling us that we are visitors in this world. This world is not our home. When time comes, we shall have to go. Praise God. Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 14. We are going to read so many verses so that we can understand. Hebrews 13, 14. Said, for there is no permanent city for us here on earth. There is no permanent city for us here on earth. We are looking for the city which is to come. And lastly, to emphasize on this, Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. Philippians chapter 3, verse 20 to 21. It says, We, however, are citizens of heaven. And we eagerly wait for our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, to come from heaven. Praise God, child. Tell your neighbor you are a citizen of heaven. You are not a citizen of earth. You are a citizen of heaven. We go. Praise God. God has put you here on earth to prepare you. If you didn't know why God has still left your life, or if you didn't know why God is still delayed to come back, God is giving you time for the work like this. That Lord, I did, I did get the opportunity to listen to your word. And the only way we can know that we are prepared is when we have Jesus Christ in our life as our personal Lord and Savior. That is the only way you can know that you are prepared. If you still don't have Christ in your life as your Lord and Savior, then know that you are not prepared. You are not yet prepared. And so you need to think twice. Praise God. And Jesus has Praise God. Luke chapter 17. We are going to start from 17. From 17 up to 24. But the old message will start from 11. Let me read. At last he came to his senses and said, all my father's hired workers have more than they can eat. 
Lifeless living is an enemy to wealth. And so the boy ran out of money. All the money that he got from the sale of the property that the father gave him and so he was without money. Church, irrespective of how much money you have, be it in billions, be it in trillions, when you are not adding something to it, time will come that the bank will come back to zero. And so this is what happened to this young man. Time came when he completely had nothing. He had nothing. And to make matters worse, there was a severe famine came across that land. And so he was left without a thing. He was left without a thing. I'm looking for that verse. Verse 14. He spent everything he had. Then a severe famine spread over that country. And he was left without a thing. Praise your child. This young man was left with nothing. And the Bible says so he went to work for one of the citizens of that country. And the best job, and the best job that they gave him was to look after pigs. Praise God. Amen. That was the best job he got. And he wished he could feed himself with the same food. But nobody gave it to him. Praise God. And the Bible says in verse 17. Verse 17. At last, he came to the senses. He came to his and said, All my fellow workers have more than they can eat. And here I am about to stop. And here I am about to Church is very important. As visitors in this world, at some particular time, to sit down and reflect on your life. And reflect on your life. And see how you are moving. Ask yourself a question. Am I moving in the right direction? Am I moving the way I'm supposed to move? Or am I going the wrong way? The Bible says this young man came to his senses. Because life had already become so tough. And so he started reflecting on how the servants of his fathers, how they are being taken care of. He said, all my fathers work as a more than they can eat. And here I am about to start. I will get up, go to my father, and say, Father, I have seen again the heaven, and again the I have seen again the heaven, and again the And I am no longer fit to be called your son. Because I have wasted your property. So I'm not even fit to be called your son. Just treat me as one of your higher partners. And so he got up. And went back to his father. The Bible says he was still a long way. When his father saw him. 
his heart was filled with pity. He ran and threw his arm on his son and kissed him. Father, the son said, I have seen against God and against you. And I know I'm not faithful to be called yourself. But the, because of the excitement the father had because of his son's return, he, he, he didn't take time to, to really listen to what this boy was saying. He just called his servant and said, hurry, hurry, hurry. Bring the best robe and put it on him. Put the ring on his finger. Put the shoes on his feet. Then go and get the best priced house and kill it. And let us celebrate. For the son of man was dead. But now he is alive. He was dead, but now he's alive. Indeed, this boy was spiritually dead. But when he came back to his father, he was so pleased. But now he's alive. He was lost, completely lost. But now he has been found. And so the feasting began. Praise God, church. The feasting began. People began to celebrate. Because the son who was lost had come back. Praise God, church. There are so many lessons that we can learn from here. There are so many lessons that Dennis is going to talk to us about from this. And the first thing that we can see in the life of this young man was a life of true repentance. True repentance. Genuine repentance. A complete turn around. The Bible said, at last he came to his senses. And said, All my father's workers are more than me. And here I am about to start. I will get up and go to my father. And say, Father, I've seen against God and against you. And I am not on my feet to be called your son. Just treat me as one of you are. Praise God, church. This is the most important decision that one can make in his lifetime. And this is the most important decision that Dennis made in his lifetime. And the only time you can make this decision is when you are alive. When you are dead, you cannot make this decision. And so Dennis made up his mind and he turned to God. He said, I'm tired of this world. I'm going back to my father. And so he gave his life to Christ. He repented and accepted Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. And he was forgiven. Irrespective of whatever sin Dennis committed, just like this young son, Dennis was forgiven. And he became a new person. The Bible says anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And so the days that we know as Victor Aaron Ministry, 
Then is our new channel Victoria Ministries. It's not the old Dennis that you used to know. Peopero Dennis are you only me or chap? A new Dennis. Peopero Dennis are new. That has confessed Christ as his personal savior. Amo Dio la Jesu Christ e come era chalu o chere che da la regra. And he didn't do this just normally, more for sure. Peo ti mo ka ti mo ma koba koba nyo when you dead. Dennis worked out his salvation. Dennis u ti u la re me ra ti a. Praise God. Pablo God. I told you where Dennis used to sit. After sitting there for some time, Dennis asked the child that I want to do something for the church. And we asked him, what do you want to do? And he said, I want to help in the projector. And so we gave them go ahead. Because God has given each and every one of you a gift. He used as a gift. And if you have not realized your gift, I pray that you ask God to show you your gift. You have a gift. But you are sitting on that gift. You are misusing that gift. You are not putting that gift to the best use. I regret the time I, I, I lost without utilizing my gift. Not until somebody saw the gift in us. And he told us. That you can do this. And this is none other than Magdalene. And that's why I'm standing here. So you have a gift in you. So when Dennis came, he started learning how to operate the projector. And this was the person who was teaching Dennis how to operate the projector. Raymond and another young boy, Dennis, he never did get better. Dennis used to sit with Raymond. Dennis was very good with Raymond, and he was learning how to operate the projector. Now another young boy, he never did get better. But time came when he developed problem with the eyes. Car de tu na me no kwa no yele pera onde na be. And he told my wife, "Mommy, I cannot continue." Take off the bin or take off the mommy. Pera no me de ti. By the way, Dennis was so much close to my wife. Dennis was no man to have quite a bit of her. He would talk to me like to her like a mother. And look at it, she was quite a bit of her. He said, "I really have interest in doing this, but my eyes cannot allow me to do it." Niki de mo abit ni ati me to pa no be tia pe ne no. And so he went back down and sat. Let him down for the chair. But he had that interest. And what did he get married? That showed that Dennis was committed in his salvation. I mean, you need Dennis no more time mere la re. Dennis was in the mission team. Dennis was the team of the Twelve Children. Why am I saying so? Dennis brought the sister in the church. Dennis, we are taking a minute to finish up. I don't know that Jackie is here. Jackie, where are you going to? Is Jackie here? Jackie, come on. Dennis is the one who brought the sister in the church. Dennis and the one in Jackie take the Kanisha can. And so that shows you the level of commitment that Dennis had. He was committed to his salvation. Dennis no more come in the area. He never missed church. He no became Kanisha. He never missed church. Became Kanisha. Before his death. Dennis had spent two weeks without coming to church. Dennis will reach up in a rio and make no petty a bini kanisha. But the first week he sent the sister. And reach up in my chair and hold a minute. Say go and pray the church. Go and pray the church. And tell them to pray for me. Go be your leg pira. And the church pray for Dennis. Nisha the leg of Dennis. The next Sunday. The Sunday me logo. The mother came. Mama a Dennis the bino. Ah, Reverend Peter can bear the witness. Ah, Pat Peter, no, 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 no. He met them coming. And what they get get your bino? And when he came, Cargiro bino. He said, "Dennis sends you his greetings." 
que uno no quiere guardar. Then go and get the best price down. Ahí llegó el cuando roba la vaquera. And let us celebrate the feast. Bueno, vayamos a cara. You see the love that God has for repentant hearts. Y no lo cortó el malo para malo que le chingan los muros. This boy came back barefooted. A huevo venido tu huevo de mi tierra no la pongo. And immediately the shoes was there. The shoes to the ruca cocker. The ring was there on his fingers. The ruca de matem. The robe was there on him. The ruca de que le ruca ve. And those are the dressing of the king. Mano de los ruca ba. And they killed the best price cow. Out the million roll. And so people celebrated. And everybody was excited. Just like we were excited when Dennis gave his life. And so God is very excited when we give our life to Him. And lastly, you are only alive if you are in Christ. You are only alive if you are in Christ. I want you to tell you are never. You are taking long without talking. Tell you are never. You are only alive when you are in Christ. Verse twenty-four. Listen to this very carefully. For this son of mine was dead. But was this boy dead? Physically was alive, but spiritually was completely dead. So much as we are seeing you living and walking and talking and singing and shouting, without Christ you are dead. Without Christ, you are completely lost. Verse 24. For the son of man was dead. But now he's alive. He was lost. But now he has been found. Fellow mourners without Christ, you are nothing. You are completely nothing. You are lost. You are dead. You are nothing. Praise God. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 13. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 13. He says. You were one time spiritually dead because of your sin. And because you were Gentiles without the law. But God has now forgiven, has now brought you to life with Christ. And God forgave all our sins. You were one time spiritually dead. Mano que no copo para 
the word. And lastly, the, this most common scripture, John 3 16. For God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son. All this is pointing to the eternal life in the life of Dennis. Praise God. And so what does this scripture leave you with? Because Dennis has eternal life. He is already there with his God. Let them Dennis for this trouble. In him as eternal life. That is John 336. Which is the last scripture we are reading. Said whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Praise God. So you cannot judge yourself. From this word that Dennis is telling us, you can judge yourself where you belong. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. Just like Dennis has eternal life. And whoever disobeys the Son will not have life. But will remain under God's punishment. The choice is yours. Yeah, Praise God, Church. The choice is yours. Yeah, Lord, but of all the things that I've said, it can jump in two chapters. In summary, Dennis is telling us. Dennis Yakobuani. Repent. Muri. Repent. Muri. Repent. Muri. And be saved. I tell you. Two. Mario. Dennis is telling us Dennis, if you haven't yet committed your life to Christ that God is eagerly waiting for you in he wants to forgive you. He wants to forgive you. He has not yet closed that door. And three, Dennis is telling us that God is so much happy when sinners repent and heaven celebrates. And lastly, Dennis is telling you and me that you are alive only and only if you have Christ in your life. Without Christ, you are dead. Without Christ, you are lost. And so the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Tell your neighbor the choice is yours. The choice is yours. Either you choose life or you choose death. The choice is yours. And what I want to remind you heaven is real. Heaven is real. And heaven is also real. And so it is upon you. Don't you don't worry. The ball is in your court. God bless you. And we appreciate uh, Reverend Sira as he gets back. You are there and you want to say, I want to receive this Jesus to be the Lord of my life. So that from today I may be alive. Both in the physical and in the spiritual. You want to receive Jesus to be the Lord of your life. So that's when your day comes. Just like that of Dennis came. You can be where Dennis is right now. With our heads bowed down. Just repeat these words after me. 
No akok man yung nani ko po. Do not fear your neighbor. Pero ang pera ng nani? Because it's you and you are God. Kaya pero yung ko ni ko yung kero ba? You would like Jesus to be the Lord of your life. Pero yung words ni ko po. Just just say this after me. Kung man yung yan. Say what ba na? Lord my God. Today. Today. Kawan beri odi. Eh, di mana your house? Kau yang lopi. Eh, hati of your what? Moko tamai di je. Eh, bisa dek this day. Yesus Kristus. Jesus Christ. Be Lord my God. Be the Lord of my life. Cakera mana? Right now. Mio ko na bori. I've given my life to you. Mangcia. Hold my hands. Workeda. Go with me. Jemang kisya ka na bari ye. Forgive me in my trespasses. Aye aye na bela lar. You become a savior. Betting at all can allow me a war. No one can give me life. To ye you can. Only you. A boy with your level now. I thank you for hearing my prayer. Boy, Tima Kisha. Thank you for for forgiving me. Amen. Amen. Banga bero kuya. Thank you for your permission. But may I be your forgiving body? Father, I want to thank you for all the good things that you have done for me. I pray for your blessings upon the lives. Thank you, Jehovah. As I welcome one of the family members, or especially the person in charge of transport, to come. We have two points for body. This is the first point. This is the first point we shall go from. Here we have only one bus. This is the bus where Rio, Chahi Rio, or Kismaro, QFM. At the point of QFM, we have buses from two and above. So in the back of the two meter bar beach, the fee is fifteen thousand. Town and home will be a bar Rio and a bar. We plan it to be between ten to twelve. Yeah, you are me. What I want to get a job to be a large. Me want to go on my boat. Because now the shorter route is not okay. We shall use a longer route. Me want to go to the far beach. You think I can just be here at far beach? We have plans for that. It will be at the fifty thousand. The rainbow car is now moving to the one in Moema. From rainbow here, there is a car. A bus will come to Moema. Those ones will be at QFM. QFM, you will find him. So I'm going to go to the beach and go to the church and go to the church. Thank you so much. Come earlier because of the issue of the rain. I'm going to go. Thank you so much. I'm going to thank you for that, which you have done. I'm going to go. 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 Are you aware? This one is far away. We need it somewhere. Mandatory to go. We 
facility whereby people will be coming from that side, they will view the body and then they give their samples. Lord God, we thank you so much for all that you have done. Why we take we thank you for the courage, for the wisdom, and for the strength that you have given us all along. Shalom, you may be able to come and see our brother Dennis. We pray for strength. Let's go, please. Thank you so much. Whatever they will think to help in the work which is ahead of us, we pray to bless them. We bless you, we give the glory in Jesus' name. We will take the time to the Lord and give us the prayer of the We shall be looking for people from Baha'i. When this side is over, we shall come this side. If the side is finished, we shall come to the side of the home. Then I shall finalize. As we do that, I was teaching what the minister. Welcome. I'll pack a water and do a deal.